Hello, and welcome back to the Brain Geek Podcast. I'm Brennan. I'm Zach. I'm Brennan. Wait, I'm Jason. And today we have a special guest. Special guest, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sal. How's all right. Hanging? Bet. Bye. Get out. That's all we need. All right. Yeah. See you later, alligators. Yeah, okay, bye. I'll be. How do I open this door? There we you go. Don't. All right. Get, get sit your bye. booty down. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Well, that was fun while well, it lasted. Anyway. All right, that was our guest. Um, <laughs> anyway, so how are you guys doing? <laughs> doing well, man. Doing well. Watch the Schneider Cut again in black and white because I didn't hate myself enough the first time. Did I you actually? It. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say. I'm well, sorry. welcome, guest. What's your Who's name? That? Hi, I'm 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 Sal. Well, nice to meet you. How are you doing, Sal? Uh, well, there's this weird guy. I, sorry, I'm late to the the meeting, everybody. Oh, there's okay. this weird. <laughs> Ah! It's fine, he'll edit it, keep going. No, he has to edit. (laughs) My bad. I have a potty mouth, sorry. Yeah, but I I met this guy, he was my doppelganger. He just came, like, you know, just walked out. and It was kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. That's crazy, bro. Anyway, after that enthralling story of survival, Uh, we got any uh, geeky news that we care to share? We're going to start doing this, I think, in every podcast. We're just going to introduce a new segment, and it's just recent news in geek leave Don't. it to zach to give us something boring to know. excuse me right. um, <laughs> not right i know back for blood the left for dead spiritual successor yeah. got pushed uh it's now instead of coming out at the end of may it's coming out in october of june oh oops um my hero academia is <laughs> Third movie. Zach just bought it and watched it. No, I bought, bought the, the second, second one. one. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, what a the nerd. third movie's coming what out this summer. Nerd. Thank um, you. Season five just started. Uh, the you good song? The box office hit Demon Slayer movie's coming out at the, uh, near the end of April. Joe Toro. Um, Dio. Oh. They just released a new trailer for the new Suicide Squad. Oh, so good. That okay, okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit because you, you've given all of the news. Um, Invincible came out. We watched that first episode. I think my favorite thing was you messaged me. I'm bored. The next scene. Everyone the, dies. This is the end of the episode. Was oh my bloody. goodness. Have you seen that yet? I actually watched a scene from it. Uh, it's the one where the guy just like. Absolutely goes like berserk, berserk. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is because my mom texts me like literally before we watch it. The reason I brought it up, she's like, Brody saw the trailer for this. Do you think they'd be okay for him to watch with that? Because she hadn't looked it up yet. No. Um, <laughs> and no, it was not. <laughs> no, it was not. I wasn't expecting red. That was a lie. My mom didn't say anything. Brody's like, can I watch it? I said, red, red Ooh. flare, red blur. Whatever his the, name is. Yeah, the, the super fast guy. guy. Flash. All, yeah, all I, all I remember is seeing Eyeball. Eyeball. My favorite thing about him, like Red Flash, Red Glare, whatever, it's funny because Communist Russia. Russia. But yeah, I was like, oh <laughs> my lord. That, the animation on that is fantastic. Oh yeah. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Um, the Dota series came out on Netflix. Or is it coming yeah. out weekly? I didn't check. Uh, no, I think, I think I it's think all out. Ne- yeah, I think it's but all out. Netflix, I think. That was good. I didn't have really any expectation for it. I showed my manager at work the tavern scene with the that'll be two crowns um uh why i'll get it for oh in that case it's free oh so for me it's two crowns but for him it's free because he's an effing dragon knight and he kills effing dragons you know who he is (laughs) like i mean like uh, the main voice actor for those who are interested also voices sasuke uchiha and a bunch of other characters no way yeah we didn't know that what? In what? In, in, Nar- in Naruto. Oh, he was going to say Naruto. But well, then he went, Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. Naruto. So one of the things we gave him crap about Sal, I don't know if you... Uh, I say, my best friend one time. And we're like, every time you say anything that's <laughs> in Japanese, you're like... Oh, <gasps> my <laughs> And he's like, no, I don't, mom. Man. Oh. How about this for some gaming news? My little brother wanted to play Fortnite. Mm. Did it die? On my Xbox account, and I said, I don't want you spending $300 million on oh. V-Bucks okay. on accident. But, uh... You just yeah. tell him, you sp- any money you spend, you owe him. He owes to you. He's an 11-year-old. He doesn't mm. have any money to give me not, back. Like, not as recent, but, I mean, <clears throat> Bethesda is now officially part of Xbox. Oh, we talked about this a while ago. This is old. Is it? Did we? Yeah. 
okay. we talked about it a little bit. I th- I think maybe it was a before. But I guess kind of going off of that, I guess we'll get into the episode and talk. Unless anybody else has any other news they news. want, to, they've heard or seen. Uh, b- 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 the suicide, the new Suicide Squad trailer was. One of the funniest things. Oh, nobody came out. Oh yes, um, what a great movie! We went and saw that. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Bob Odenkirk. I I don't know, man. That man is so talented when he's cast correctly. Yeah. And oh my goodness, was he cast correctly? I never thought I'd be watching Saul Goodman beat the living crap out of Russian mobsters and be loving it. It was so so good. Yeah. If anyone um, wants to watch John Wick with comedy, watch that. Yeah, fantastic. Because John Wick is definitely a lot darker yeah. in tone. And this is, it, especially like, to he, be fair, the guy sees his tattoo and then he's like, oh no, and goes behind a door. <laughs> and then he, does the, he locks <laughs> like, like 50, 50 locks. locks. And he, he looks through those things. <laughs> I think my favorite part of that wasn't even that. It was the, the dude that was all hard. He's like, what do you want? Like, only people who flash that kind of cheddar. And then he, th- that happens. How can I help you? His voice got all high. <laughs> uh, that movie is just full of some good good spots. It was so good. It so was good. Really good. Highly recommend that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. For my younger viewers, Ray of the Last Dragon came out recently, and I've heard that's good. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I haven't either. But, uh, yeah, I've heard it's pretty good. So there's that. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it. The first two are out. Yeah. Uh, I've I've been hearing really really. I, like, good I was gonna things. say I've been hearing good stuff. I just haven't gotten a chance to view it yet personally. Um, I, I guess pretty much it. Uh, we I mean obviously a bunch of anime end today, um, this past week. Doctor Stone is now done for the year. Yeah, um, thank for, God. for the season. <laughs> Attack on Titan ends today. <laughs> thank God. Why'd you make Excuse me watch Attack you. on Titan? I don't want to watch a bunch of giant giants s- eating people. That is so depressing. Honestly, I stopped watching after season two. I was like, I was done. I was done with the series. It's it was so just pain. Good. So depressing. So good. I want to watch a bunch of naked giants eating people. <laughs> um, it's about the character development. What? Job- Jobless reincarnations done. Um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen's done. Jujutsu Kaisen. Which I really, really enjoyed. Magic Sword Wizard. It's like, magic, <laughs> I think the English translation that the, they gave it was like English, or not English. English! Uh, English! <laughs> uh, <laughs> magic, so, like, sword fights, sorcery fights. Magic sorcery fights, I think is what the name that they gave it. Really deep. It's really bad. But uh, anyways, let's get right into the let's get right into the news. Not even a good impression. Get out. You're I didn't even try. All right, right, Sal, you're Zach now. Hey. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you know you're talking way too loud. Anyway, uh, let's get right into the to <laughs> today's the topic. topic: villains in video gaming. Some of our favorites, maybe some of our least favorites. Who would like to start? Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll start. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll start with uh, the Invisible Man in Mass Effect. How invisible is he? He's very what? invisible. What? Is that talking about Mass Effect? No. Couldn't be him. Oh, um, excuse you. You're probably going to mention at least one WoW character. I'm not even yeah. going to. Or a Red Dead character. Wow. I'm not even, though. Or an Animal Crossing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Zipper! <laughs> Zipper is the worst villain to... Oh. That's it. I, I'm done. That's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> but uh, the Invisible Man, voiced by Martin Sheen, pretty sure that's who voices him, Charlie? Uh, is that's his father. really, really good because he, he's, he's racist. Obviously, he only Whoa! Whoa! humanity. Whoa! Whoa! We dropped and the he will, word. he will Wait. do literally anything to just advance the human race. Even and I think killing Zach. He okay. does a very, very good job. Uh, you see the elusive man at the end of the controversial Mass Effect 3 ending. Um, and it's just, he, he is a really, really well-written villain. He doesn't show up extremely often, um, but enough that um, he, he makes his presence known. And yeah, I, I'd say elusive man is definitely one of my favorite villains in gaming. Good. Let's go to our guest, Sal. Oh, don't go to me yet. I have no idea. I'm All working right. on it. Jason. I will name one that Sal probably's never heard of. Go ahead. Outside of Smash Bros. King K. Rule. King K. Rule. Why why you hate King K. Rule? Why are you racist? No, he is one of my favorite villains. Yeah, he plays the character design. The Donkey Kongs. Donkey Kong sixty fours. 
was my first introduction into like really playing Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in that, King K. Rool like takes over Donkey Island, and what? you go through levels and you rescue pe- like rescue places, things. And in the end, like you have all of, there's five characters in that game. And you have to battle King K. Rule with all five characters. And there's one character, she gets small, like her thing is being tiny. And you go in and you basically attack his feet. You what? Like, you like, you what? like shoot and My arrow. lady, may I kiss your feet? May I shoot your feet? <laughs> <laughs> and you, like, to defeat him is, he because he gets really big, and so you go into his shoe and you... Oh. you like, you shoot his big <laughs> toe. And it's so funny. But then when he's a Smash character, he's got the blunderbuss. He's got yeah. the... He's got big goon. Big goon. Big goon boon. He throws his crown. But I just love that. I love that character because he's... My lady? Funny. I love that Ridley in Smash is like two feet tall. <laughs> like he's the same size as Samus. As Samus is like, hold on a minute. Yeah. I distinctly remember something different corresponding here. Brennan? Um, okay. Ooh, who do I want to start with? Boss. Oh, that of course. Far Cry 3. That That's a given. Second, Very man. specific reasoning, though. I was, what, a week a week ago years old when I figured out that the voice actor for Voss is one of my favorite characters now in television as well. He's Nacho in Better Call Saul. Oh, he is? Think about it for two seconds. <clears throat> he was also in the live-action movie. There's a live-action Far Cry movie? Don't watch it. Um, <laughs> don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, he voiced like the motion. character, and yeah. I, uh, that Michael makes Mando. a lot of sense. Yeah, I literally, I was, uh, I, I accidentally, I was in a YouTube loophole, and I tapped on something. It was just a Better Call Saul loophole, and I just, I tapped on it, and it was a really dumb video. And I don't know why I watched more than two minutes of it, but literally, like, the first person they were talking about was, um... Oh, goodness me. I just blanked. Anyway, the man who plays Nacho and Voss, and he's like... Michael Mando! Yeah, sure. I just said Thanks it. for looking it up. <laughs> Thank you. He, uh, the guy making the video, he's like... Um, better known for his role in Far Cry 3 as Voss. I'm like, wait a dang second now, that makes sense. Second, my dang. But I just, I... That was one of the first times I was, like, truly... I don't know if disturbed or more enthralled by a, uh, like a villain I was. Like I was like, yeah. I don't want to kill you. I want I want to talk to you. Mm. Like just the way he started that, and it was like I'm intrigued. And I mean, he has one of the most iconic, iconic the insanity line in yeah. gaming with by a villain at least. It's, it's doing the same thing quote. over and over again. Yeah. Expect yeah. Oh yeah. Expecting different results. I don't. I mean, I just. I love that the voice acting was really well done for him. Um, the character writing was really well done. Like it wasn't. It didn't feel like just some crazy overpowered villain. Like it. It fit. It made sense. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, yeah, I could see this happening. It was believable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely something that uh, a lot of the future Far Cry games after Far Cry Three didn't do correctly. Uh, yeah. Was villains like in Far Cry Four? You got pagan men. Pagan men was. Okay, it wasn't he, the worst, but, was just but it was it was like he was a just step over. down. It was a huge. He was step just down. over like overplayed. Like yeah. he was supposed to be like this really bad dude, and there's nothing behind him. He was like, just a sad homie. <laughs> yeah, like it's just not a and uh, even in Far Cry Five. Uh, oh shoot, what's his name? I didn't play it enough. I didn't play it enough. All I know either. is he basically reminded me of all my family. In <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you all. But it's just yeah, like. Him as a villain, it's just... I don't know. Like, you get kidnapped in the game, like, three times, and it's like, man, this guy really sucks at his job. <laughs> oh, no! So, you know. the homie. Um, after, after much deliberation, I have to say, uh, probably one of my favorite uh, villains, uh, just for his impact alone on the game, Borderlands 2. We're talking about Jack. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. What a homie. Now, Borderlands 2 is one of those games that I never finished. Fair. I'm not a huge fan of looter shooters. I never got into Destiny. Destiny. Too. That's. I was. I was just about to say. It's kind of interesting to hear you say that because we just had the conversation about looter mm-hmm. shooters, and I was like, hmm. I'm not a huge fan of them. However, uh, I was able to make it like halfway through Borderlands Two mm-hmm. on Jack alone. I mean, such a great character, Daniels. Yeah. And uh, like even the prequel makes him even better because you literally well, you play as his doppelganger, but you pretty much you oh, literally play as him. 
it's like it's I mean it's fantastic I mean he's just one of those characters it's like honest to god hilarious mm-hmm. um I guess uh, my next one if we can technically count the bosses in Dark Souls sure. as villains yeah. that's a whole segment in and of itself <laughs> I mean that's we, we actually really focus. could do an episode on just the bosses oh, we in easily Dark could, Souls like bosses in the lore of Dark Souls because it's it's so fascinating um, Vati, get in here. I love Vati. Vati come on. <laughs> I love the story behind um, Artorius and Sif. What? No. Um, you just. I you, even. You said big I dog. I even <laughs> just got. I even just got the for my birthday uh, the Darker expansion for the board game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that we we'll play, play that. eventually. Yeah. Uh, I'm pointing at you because you're the only one in this room who hasn't played it with us yet. Um. But I'd say out of the... Because I had never actually finished Dark Souls, the first one. Wow. Um, I'd say my favorite boss there and slash villain would definitely probably be either the Soul of Cinder at the end of Dark Souls 3 or... I'd say Ornstein and Smo. I was going to say, why not just Smo? Because Good Ornstein boy. and Smo, Man like Sanders. just mechanics-wise, is a gank boss done right. Because you can use the pillars to separate yourself. Um, one is quick, one is slow. Um, so you can, you know, get a few hits in and then, you know, distance yourself, spread yourself out a little bit. Um, unlike other area, other bosses in other games where, like in Code Vein, where there are pillars, but they don't do jack diddly squat because they have AoE attacks and attacks that can hit you from behind and one's moderately fast and attacking you with AoE abilities and the other one's just AOE. fast and just slapping you like crazy. It's like Ornstein and Smell on cocaine. What about? But I would, I would definitely say Ornstein and Smell or the Soul Cinder because that you, you hear that really kind of somber music playing while you fight him and it's like the end of a really long journey uh, through the Dark Souls trilogy. I cried. And it was definitely like <coughs> the props. Deeping Dragon. I have to. I really have to. I'm one of those people. So I've played every single Dark Souls game. I've, beat, you? I've beaten every oh, single Dark Souls game, except for Dark Souls Two because Dark Souls Two doesn't count. Um, <laughs> wow. Me over here, like there's the first one I beat. Yeah, Dark Souls. I've beaten every single Dark Souls Soulsborne game. I disagree with uh, Ornstein and Smo. I think Ornstein and Smo is a terrible boss. Really? I think it's an awful boss. See, here's the thing. Whenever I play a game first, mm-hmm. like a Dark Souls-like game, mm-hmm. I always play as the guy that wears heavy armor with, uh, <laughs> with yeah. I see big old weapons and mir- like a miracle build with big strength, big bolt weight. And um, my yeah, problem yeah. with Ornstein and Smo was that Ornstein... Um, for what he was, like with all the pillars and stuff, the, mm-hmm. how do you separate them? Mm-hmm. Didn't work with him. Yeah. At least for me, it never worked for because his dash attack and yeah. that, look at me, like <laughs> you garbage, you get get good. garbage. I mean, I get yeah, I get good, I guess. But uh, <laughs> he's the best at Dark Souls in this room when we're telling him to get good. <laughs> but no, it's just like it's the it's just how fast he is. He literally clips through pillars. It's it's just I don't yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, and it's just, it's always been a problem of mine. I just don't think Ornstein and Smo is a great boss. I do agree with you on Soul of Cinder, though. I think it is... Oh, uh, I love Soul of Cinder. A lot of people say that, uh, say that, like, Dark Souls 3 is really a cop-out, and, like, because it's, it just brings back a lot of old stuff from the older games. Yeah, and stuff but like I, that. I think Soul of Cinder is a good yeah. example of doing that correctly. It, it, mm-hmm. it, because it, it wraps it, it up. It pays homage back to, to like, Gwen. Gwen. Gwen, yeah. yeah, and it's like... Even Literally, like the, the music like, track. I, want, like, I wanted to say Slave Knight Gale, but I never. I haven't actually fought him. Okay, yet. I have the Slave Knight Gale. Can... But a, it you... looks like a pain. It's it It'll is. be sad. It is. But it's one of those bosses time. that's like, I don't want to kill you, but I have to, mm-hmm. and it's sad, and he's <gasps> too good. Well, it's like it's just all of the different like styles that the Soul of Cinder pulls out. Yeah, it's just it's like. He goes into the mage, and he goes into uh, the Carthus uh, catacombs skeletons, and mm-hmm. like he just—it's—it's it's one of I think one of the best made uh, bosses in Dark Souls. Jason, <clears throat> who's your next favorite oh, villain? Are we done talking about Dark Souls? We're no, I have <laughs> Souls Dark. 
I have watched you guys play the first one, and that's my expertise on it. I don't know any. That's fair. Brennan and I, uh, the big reason Brennan and I at least know a lot about Dark Souls is because we did a playthrough of it. Dude, we, we know life the hell out of that game. <laughs> but, uh, I, I remember you guys doing the first boss. Which, of in, what game? In Dark the Souls first one. one, yes. See, I hate and then the I Capra Steaman. Capra Demon? Capra. Capra. That is the bad one game design. The one in the tiny little box with the dogs. That is... I, should, Capra Demon. I always thought it was funny when you guys were doing that, that area where there were rats... And this man kept Next to the bridge. By rats. <laughs> and you kept getting killed by the rats. And Brennan walks in and says, mm-hmm. But then we get murked five seconds later after getting past it, so it was pointless. But oh, funny, funny, funny. Anyway. 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 I got one if you don't. You go. It's Gladys. Yeah. Oh, okay. In combo, I'd say Wheatley as well, because Wheatley's kind of a turd nugget in the second game. <laughs> well. That's true. But uh, I just I again it's I'm, I'm kind of a one trick pony with a lot of the reasons like with a big a, oh my goodness a way into my heart for a good good character is I mean voice acting mm-hmm. like if I like the way a character sounds I'm gonna be that much more intrigued by what they're saying and Glados was just one of those that I was like yo homie spitting bars <laughs> <laughs> the cake is a lie the cake bro. is a lie she knows what's up. But no, it was, oh my goodness. I just, I remember playing through that game and being like, whack. This, uh, <laughs> whack. this, is, this has no whack. business being as creepy as it is. And just, it was just, her voice, well, it just, it <clears throat> set in that ominous, like, there is no escape. Like, I'm stuck here and I'm terrified of what could happen to me at any turn and any puzzle. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, speaking of Portal, I mean... Possibly one of the greatest games of our generation. Oh, goodness. Easy. I mean, it it's sparked just, a whole generation of gaming. I mean. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it's... It, I mean, it. the the comedy in that is just fantastic. So good, bro. We I shoot the it. whole bullet. That's 66% more bullet. It's probably the wrong percentage. When life gives you lemons, you make life take those lemons back. You don't want life's charity. Is it J.K. Simmons? I yes. think yeah. so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure J.K. Simmons' voice is just what a what a great game. What a great game. Portal is a bop. Oh yeah. Can we? Okay. Oh my gosh. Daily Bugle. Daily Bugle. Tell me his name. Tell me his name. Tell me. Uh, J. 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 Can we talk about the fact that Omni Man looks exactly like, like him like and voice by J.K. Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> I literally, literally, I showed my manager the that scene that we're talking that we were talking about. Mm-hmm. He was like. He's like, is that J. J. Jameson? And I'm like, no. He's like, that is J.K. Simmons, though, right? I said, yeah. He's like, they know what they were doing. <laughs> Give me pictures of Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That was my quick one. Stop playing the piano up there, Jason. Yes. Who's... Should I be basic? Yes. yes, if you want to be. Should I? No. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my little brother's listening around like what a bunch of nerds. Correct. <laughs> my li- my brother. Yo, bro. This kid was just about to play Fortnite. All right, he's showing us up right now. He's way cooler than us. He really is, though. <laughs> let's be honest. Let's see. Let me tell you, balloons. They are the devil. They really do be the the, the devil. Balloons. I still haven't gotten past level 95. So. I was literally, I have my next one. I was 100% going to say balloons from Balloons <laughs> Tower <laughs> Defense. <laughs> what, what a game. Worst, it's balloons. not even the balloon, the first Balloons Tower Defense game wasn't even the first Balloons game. That's just crazy to think about. It, yeah. It's just, it, it started off with a game literally called Balloons. Balloons. <laughs> What a game. What a game I series. Just, I remember playing, I think, the third one on... Who's singing up there in the oh. chapel? I don't remember... I don't remember what website it was on, but making the... Com- literally, computer froze. And yes. there's so many balloons going on yes. the screen. I started my balloons uh, career. Career? He's career. like, it's not a hobby. It's, it's a, a career. career. I mean, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, in, it, on Balloons Tower Defense 
four. Mm -hmm. What a game! <laughs> like just ugh. <laughs> so good. Four was so good. You'd you'd go. I, I had a I had a a tech class. I can't remember what exactly it was, but we used a lot of computers and stuff like that. I think it was literally called tech. Probably called tech or just computers. Um, <laughs> computers. Computer ah, class. computer tech. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, after class, he would let us play games, and we would just hop on Balloons Tower Defense. Hop on that cool math game. Cool math games. Ugh. Oh. Rip. What a what a great. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Why did uh, so so sad that Flash got <laughs> Windows murdered? The Windows. amount of times I probably got viruses on like oh my grandparents' laptop that oh, I play on because of that. Oh my lord! Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> Grandma Poppy. I had to play my video game. I actually recently just got Balloons Tower Defense six. We all did. Oh my I think. lord! What a game! <laughs> I'm starting I to see a pattern here. It. What a game! I love balloons so much. I didn't much. realize that one of the super monkey things is Batman. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's literally, literally Batman. Batman. Mm -hmm. It's like I love it. I, I just watched a literally Batman die recently. A literally Batman die? Yeah. <gasps> That's depressing. It was a. Uh, in that, what we were talking about with um, oh the Zack Snyder yeah. cut no 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 Sorry. no no in that Invincible they literally it's Batman and he said <laughs> that is Batman it's I, it's like there's Batman oh. Wonder Woman the Flash Hawk Woman Hawk well Hawk Girl's Wonder Woman but like um, yeah. like the Green Lantern like it's those characters but, and they all die. but not but not like Omni Man is Superman the Red okay. Blur is Flash. Okay, so it's like knockoff characters, yeah, essentially. Yeah, basically. Brennan's like... Knockoff Justice League. <laughs> when can they come up with original characters? And, and he's like, come up with one. I'm like, I can't. That's the point. That's yeah. the point. A character, he's, uh, he's They're super rich. Ah, well, he's either Iron Man or Batman, so... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> At least throws money. Iron Man came up with all his stuff on his own. Batman had to outsource most of it. Exactly. He Did had he to outsource his trauma. The martial <laughs> Did he outsource? Out, out, it's yours. Outsource. Out 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 <laughs> all of the martial arts that he learned. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Zach, I can see your face and I see you're looking something up, so what's uh, up? I'd have to say another one of my favorite villains is Logan from Dragon Age Origins. Ah, oh, what a bastard. <laughs> yeah. He had a nerve. He, you, you hate him right from the beginning because you know you're going in, you have the the dark spawn coming mm -hmm. in, and then he's like, eh, and he leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he takes his whole leaves army Kalen. and leaves, it's and, like, you're, and mm -hmm. he blames it all on the Grey Wardens, and so you go what and you make alliances, nerds. and at the end, near the end of the game, you have an option to kill him. Yep. Alistair kill him. Yep. Uh, or you can save him. Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, no, or no. Uh, you can make him have the baby and die. What? The baby? Cause, so one of the ways... Because there are so many different endings Actually, to I Origins. Actually, Dragon Age Origins, so this is going to be interesting. Um, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you, can have, you can have like a relationship, intimate relationship with Morgan. Hey, Morgan? Yeah. And so I was she, like, I don't revisit this baby, game immediately! You have a baby. And that baby ends up dying instead of you when you kill the. Elder in case you weren't aware, there's a big spoiler town and always in this room. Not a this big is, deal. This game, I can't watch ever with any feelings. Eight like, years old. 12, what? 13, 12 years old. <laughs> Origins is that old? Uh -huh. Origins is pretty old. Wow. Like, they came out like 2008. I feel like I just played it. I was like, mm, okay, this, Grandpa. This looks good. This game looks good. <laughs> It's age is definitely starting to show a bit. I thought you were saying it looks good still, and I was like, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Combat sucks too. BioWare yeah. used, to, like, hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping with Dragon Age 4 and the next Mass Effect that they get back on track. Because they used to be so, so good at writing and just used to be, you're not tales and characters. Just delete Anth Inquisition. Anthem was bad. <laughs> Oh, I bought it. Delete. Andromeda was okay, but it was not what it could have been. It was a very niche market. I actually disagree with, Mass of, uh, with your opinion on Mass Effect. Like, I actually, I had fun in Andromeda. I personally enjoyed it. Like, your game play, wrong. the gameplay and everything was the best it's Sorry. been in the series. 
just character wise and story wise, it wasn't as good as it, oh, would, it could have been. I wish they would have introduced maybe new alien, new alien species no. in the intro. They introduced one, maybe. No, that I wish they two. I, I wish they introduced a new alien. There's two of them. Ah, nah, they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But like the, instead of having you know like new alien squad mates, you have you know you have a Krogan, you have yeah. a Krogan? Turian, you do, you have a. <laughs> Sal's uh, ending your argument right now. <laughs> you do. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's what you do. You have. Oh, oh, he, you, I was instead, like, what? <laughs> instead of having new alien species, you have old alien species, and even those characters aren't written as well as I would have liked. But. Anyways, how dare they not cater to your I know. <laughs> requirements? The bastard. There's a reason that game sold very poorly. Because they didn't listen to Zack. If only they listen to Zack. It's like another great villain, in my opinion, is Malik from Star Wars: oh, Knights cool. of the Old Republic. I mean, but that game's good though. That game's good. The first it one. Is. The yeah, first, the first one. one. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I've I have played through the first one. The second one, I cannot get past the first level. Malik, That's and I love. Um, Treya, Darth Treya, in the second game, because her just all of her dialogue, I love all of it. It's, it's written so you know so, I was so well. Watching a streamer play Kotor two the other day because they never played it like very much, and I really want to know what's going on. But they kept skipping the dialogue, so I don't know. What's Excuse going on. you. <laughs> it's funny because it was Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I literally couldn't watch the video; it wouldn't load for me, and I went, "Well, <laughs> that sucks." <laughs> it's hard. And then, and then, then he was playing like, Apex, and I went. This That's isn't not KOTOR 2. Cool. No, 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 okay. <laughs> I said, this isn't KOTOR 2, and then closed out of it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I came here for one thing, and I feel Had betrayed. Oh, god. Okay, another villain? Uh -huh. Nah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, no be basic. Bowser. Oh my god. But, 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 but. No, go. Yes. Which Bowser? But, <laughs> no, none of them. Uh, not a lot. I just not played. Papier Mario, the oh Origami God. King. Oh, the Origami King is the best villain. And the Origami King, his name is Ali. Ali, Ali. King Ali. And he is evil. Evil. He folds, he folds Princess Peach into a stained glass window. <laughs> and that really said, sus. <laughs> <laughs> That's kinky. Sus. <laughs> but. Because then you get. You get um, have you played Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey? About half of it. And so, I've watched an entire playthrough of it. This is going back to Bowser. So, um, you beat Bowser on Cap. the moon. Yeah. Spoiler, you go to the moon. Oh. <laughs> and, oh, darn. And then after Dang you beat it. him, the moon starts to crumble. Yeah. Oh. And <laughs> so you needed him. So in, in Odyssey, have you ever played Odyssey? Yes. I don't play Mario games. Brody. So you throw like your hat, and it like becomes these creatures. You become the mm -hmm. I, I, Yeah. One of so my favorite. One of my favorite ones yeah. is the the plant that literally just gets long legs. I go, whoop, oh, yeah. long. <laughs> long <laughs> boy. Long boy. <laughs> long boy, not real. It can't hurt you, long boy. You yes. <laughs> you take over Bowser, and then you like go and try to escape the moon the as Bowser. The moon. And it's like sus. <laughs> There's an imposter. Right? There's, There's a wizard imposter. came from the Amogus. Amogus. <laughs> Amogus. Speaking of Amogus, have any of you watched Zanny's new video yet? No. Nope. Zach, about how no, no you're talking about. They built a giant Amogus. <laughs> oh, Sounds God. about right. Anyway. Um, Do I be basic again? Sure. Are you basic? Yeah, I was Ganon. Ganon. Oh, yeah. Dorf. Makes sense. Which Ganon, though? I mean, because there's like. Calamity Ganon! There's like a bunch of different cannons. Yeah, oh, like Ganon too. Ganon. Yeah. Water calamity cannon. That's the only one I've beaten so far. <laughs> in the wild. That's the beginning of the game. Um, to be fair, to you be guys, fair. you were both like, "Why are you already here? You have no life." And I'm like, "I'm gonna win!" And I won. I didn't even die once. That's a lie. Once. I watched. Oh no, die. I did die. I'm sorry. I did die once because I was like, "Wait, how does it, how do you do this?" And I died. And I said, "Wait a dang second. And then I won Wait, again. A dang second. Wait a dang second. Wait a dang second. Wait a dash your moment." Yeah, no. Especially with that game. I, like we had talked about in the RPG episode, I spend way too much time just going everywhere, doing every side quest possible before I go do the That's kind of why I went early to fight him, because I was like, you know, I want to see how hard this game could be. And I was like, oh, Lord! You wouldn't fight Calamity Ganon? 
and I went and fought the Water Boy oh. way too early. Like you were like, "Oh, you're in the Divine Beast." I'm like, "Yeah." And then you looked at my hearts, and you're like, "Why are you here?" Why? <laughs> because <laughs> I got hit once, and I'm like, "Yeah, a quarter of a heart." Any other bosses? Is that my phone? You want to talk about? Home yes. Must be ringing. So technically, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say Cicero. From Elder Scrolls Five, mm, okay, because he pisses me off. Yeah, it's one of my least favorite. All really? I'm talking about my least favorite. No right one cares. No one like cared about Alduin. Alduin. <laughs> you know why? I I remember when I fought Alduin, I was way too low level, and I'm sitting there, and I was like, I have 376 steel arrows. I have this dope Dwemer bow, and I literally <laughs> sat behind a rock and I go, <laughs> crouch, <laughs> crouch. <laughs> Crouch, <laughs> crouch, and then he died, and I was like, oh, that was boring. <laughs> crouch, crouch, oh. Yeah, for an eater of worlds, he was uh, not eating worlds. Pretty garbage. Yeah. He was not eating worlds. But no, I, I say Cicero. He's one of my least favorites, switching gears a little bit here, because he pissed me off. This man worshipped the corpse, and he knew it the whole time. Anyway, his voice bothers me. His little dart gun <laughs> bothers me if you're not on like stupid high level, he goes and you die. <laughs> and and his outfit looks stupid. And I don't like that it gives me good buffs, but it looks like crap. And I am like, you know, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Disenchant. Fair enough. So I hate Cicero. I hate him. Okay, He's least favorite guy. villains in all of gaming. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. That's like the fourth time too. I, I have really, I have a really bad habit of uh, saying bad words. Um, That's okay, I do too. Um, I've so never cussed a day in my life. We're going to and talk about Darkest Dungeon and the Sanity Meter. <laughs> Not even an actual <laughs> villain. Not even a villain. That is, just that mechanic. A very good point. That, that it's a pain. Such horse crap. Because you, <laughs> you put, you put your characters into these. Oh hey, go drink, go gamble, go seduce ladies in a brothel. You don't have to seduce them. Um, you pay them. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> you moving on. You, you go there, and it doesn't even remove all of the sanity. It like lowers it to be slightly below half sanity. Yeah. So constantly, you're you're battling with your characters. And sometimes, if they crit, they get sanity back. But if the enemies crit, they lose sanity. If the enemy uses a special ability that literally takes away or to gives them uh, stress, oh no, they have stress now. It's such horse. I'm it, horse. Constant, constant problems with that. Yeah, I watched you play that, and I said, uh, no. It's so. It, I'm the not, game is the, so difficult. The characters are not about to be the only ones going insane if I continue on this path. Well, it literally <laughs> says at the beginning of the game, this game is all about making a bad, a bad, or making good out of a bad situation. And I'm like, it, I can't make good out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the game, but like, it's just but that sanity going. meter. Like, oh my lord. That's why I go to Balloon's Tower Defense 6. <laughs> I'd say one of my least favorite is definitely me in Super Mar or not Super, uh, Super Meat Boy. Because I keep jumping into the same spike <laughs> over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Look at me. And I just go insane. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? Just get good at the game, bro. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. <laughs> Okay, along the lines of uh, calling out tech Jack, as yes. as villains, uh, the cameras in the old Resident Evil games. Oh my <laughs> lord! Now the amount of times, okay, playing through Resident Evil Three, even like it, like the remaster, it's better, but it's I. Mm. <laughs> It's such a hit or miss for me with like over the shoulder cameras in games. Mm -hmm. Like I love Resident Evil Seven's amazing. I love that for the first person. I like that take on it. I personally, I like the game. Even in the much improved over the shoulder camera of RE Three, I'm like running down a hallway and I'm like I hear something. Turns around, I can't see anything because I'm looking at her face going. <laughs> As there's a zombie in front of her, and she's just like, mm. <laughs> "That's fair." <laughs> like that stupid place where the like the little spiders go oh. at the beginning of the game. Okay, yes, I agree with. I you hate that, that area because I'm like, "All right, Claire, turn." She's like, 
<laughs> <laughs> What's up the ceiling? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh. I mean, I meant the old ones because those those ones. Those were way worse. Th- they're terrible. You'd be like, turn. Where, where, where am I? I tried, <laughs> I tried playing the first Resident Evil. Like the, you know, the. The penultimate. The, the first penultimate. One? That'd and be the second to last. I could not. <laughs> I could not play it. I just couldn't. And it's like at the time, whenever it came Pro, out, just play it. Revolutionary, absolutely a wonderful game. However, but now, now it's oh just. God, it's like God. I can't get through it. I can't. What well, we're playing uh, Resident Evil Two, the original or the remake? Yeah. Remake. remake, 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 remake. What, what were we playing? We were playing one of them. Okay, Resident Evil Four even. Is Dog crap. Bet. Not not the game. The game's amazing, but the camera. Are you disagreeing? I do. I do in 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 the fact that I just think I, I agree with you on uh, Resident Evil Three because for whatever reason it puts the character in the middle of the screen. That yeah, is the dumbest okay. thing in the At entire. At least world. in Four, he's like he's Whoop. off to the off side, to the side a, little a little bit. But it's still frustrating when like I'm like aim. And they were right here, like especially in the beginning of the game, mm-hmm. when I'm like, "Ooh, aim!" and he's like, Aah! and he's over here, and I can't get over here fast enough because I'm trying to move the camera and the gun at the same time, and I end up going, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "No, what I, are I you get blind? It, I get what it. are you?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, oh, go ahead. Have you guys ever played the Spyro games? They yes. remastered the Spyro I games. I played. I played a lot of Spyro as a kid, and so, then I started playing the remaster trilogy. I bought the remaster trilogy, played through the first one, beat it. Played through the second one, got beat to, it. No, just beat it. <laughs> got to the oh! second like mini boss because there's there's two mini bosses and then the main boss and the main boss is like a little guy yeah. with a big head <laughs> on, the, guy. on a thing and could not beat the second mini boss. Quit the game. Didn't touch it for a year and a half. Rough. And then, like, last month, picked it up, beat the boss in, like, 30 minutes, put the game down again, because I was like, <laughs> we're done here. I ain't never touched this again. I have to say, one of the worst bosses slash villains in gaming history is the Mastiff in Apex Legends. Oh my lord! Are you sure? Take the yeah. gun out of the game. Take it out. I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> I don't even want the game anymore. Keeper. Don't don't even nerf it because you nerfed it, and you know what it still does? It's still I me mean, harder than anything else I've ever. <laughs> a six-year-old having a muscle spasm with the mastiff still plays better than any a pred ever could with an R99. They go <laughs> boom. I'm, I'm not making fun. <laughs> I am quoting Splez VR with the gahoo. Gahoo! Poof! <laughs> and I'm dead. But when I use it, when I use it, I love I it. deal the damage of a McDonald's napkin. A wet paper bag going <laughs> into a man named Demarquius' head. Go. And then he says, <laughs> and I'm gone. This man says, punch, and it says, 30 damage. I say, shoot, 11. What? He goes, bop, bop, and I'm dead. I go, Poof. and he said, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Like, it's the equivalent, like, I shoot someone with the Mastiff point blank, and it's like, I have a, a light head cold. But heaven forbid I get shot with the Mozambique like halfway across the map. It's like, oh, oh you heard of Hiroshima? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe have shields. <laughs> so, a terrible villain, I I think, is, I, or, guess I, I guess, boss, I suppose. Like a mini boss, I, I guess. Um, Sekiro. Sekiro. That raging bull. See, I didn't actually have many issues with that bull because you, you, you do it's the tactic like of you the stick to that head and you don't move. You, you stay glued to that head. Bet. My problem, my problem with that, that boss is that it once once you get to, oh my gosh, he goes, my name! Yeah. Oh, uh, Gyobu, Gyobu. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that guy. Really? 
Weeaboo, um, weeaboo. He like literally beats it into your brain that this is not Dark Souls. You have to, yeah, ref- you have, you have to, to deflect. Yeah. You don't dodge and stuff like that. And then you get almost immediately after a mini boss that is all about dodging and running after the thing. Yeah. In complete just 180 from the game, and I'm just like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what, all I gotta what, say is <laughs> get good. <laughs> no kidding. Trust me, I've beaten that one. <laughs> okay. Kind of backtracking, the most fear I have ever felt recently playing a video game was Resident Evil 3 when you're fending off in the hospital as Carlos, and you're like, oh, I have all the ammo in the world. <laughs> but then the, um, like, the, oh gosh, I'm like, the big the boys. The big boys with the claws, they uh, come in. Hunters, Hunter, Hunter Gamma? I think they're Gamma. Like no, that. they're not Gammas, they're Betas. They're, yeah, the Betas. When they show up, and they're like, hey. <laughs> and you cannot run away. And they hit you up once. And Carlos said... Pretty sure in the original, uh, flashbangs just killed them outright. Yeah. Um, in that one, it does not kill them outright. I throw a frag and they're like... Well. <laughs> <laughs> Wake McDonald's napkin. <laughs> well, it's, I remember... Oh my gosh. I, sh- I, I really want to stream... Play- Did I break my thumb when I... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the hospital... When there's two of them in the same room, mm. and if you get a good flash and a good frag off quick, you can end them quickly. Mm. But if you miss that little sweet spot toss, ooh, because I didn't know they were in there because they moved around, they moved oh, stuff around. You just walked in, and I'm like, and I'm like, hmm. are you talking about on the hardest difficulty? Yes. Oh yes, I hated that. I, hated I was like, so hey, much. cool, a green, a green up opens door. Because hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I open the door and I because they, you know. Most games, an enemy like that, it's like <laughs> through a door, and you're like, they, "Oh, they stay, they quiet." I, literally, I'm I walk into the room, and they're like, "He's currently out of the door right now." Hey, <laughs> like, ah! they're just right there. Like, Jason, get up. Like, just be walking Jason through gets the room. Up. Like, it's silent. I'm like, He's "Oh, they're going, in front like, of the door." Turned around, like, be walking. He's that turned way. around. They're like, Brendan walks up behind him, <laughs> and hugs, and then him you're dead from behind, and then kills him. I died once. In my playthrough of that game, to those pieces of garbage in that on area. the hardest difficulty. Yes, Fine. I feel like you're captain, but what? No, I believe Second. it. I, I believe see, it. I want to see the achievo. I want to see the achievo for beating the game on the hardest difficulty. Second, there's not one. The, the, I, guarantee, second, I guarantee. There's there are there's achievos. a there's not an achievement. There is a trophy in a game. trophy in game. And I said second. So, what is the video game you guys were playing? Was it Left for Dead Two? Yes. What a bop. Where it, you, uh, you're in like the hospital in space. Oh, Dead Space. Dead, Dead Space. space too. Oh. Oh. The marker, Dead Space. Yeah. That. What a great, I mean, it's not even a villain really, but like, I, I guess I could say like the necromorphs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what a great enemy. Throughout the entire game, you're absolutely terrified. Yeah. The entire game. Yeah. You, you get all these cool weapons, and you're just like... These well, are pointless. I can, I can kill them a little bit faster now, but they still gonna, they're still going to try and eat me. <laughs> it's scary. I, just, I thought it was funny watching the two of you play, Zach and Brennan, where it's the, the three-legged... It's like that first boss. Like yeah, that first, first yes, boss. And, and we're just all running you get in circles. Run around the map. I don't have ammo. Run around, and you run out of ammo, and then you're just... Hop, hop. Hop, 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 yeah. as you have no health, and you're like, and then I miss, anything. and then I go get more ammo, and then I miss again. Zach, Zach, <laughs> aim. More ammo. <laughs> aim? Who is aim? Who is How she? Aim? I've never met her before in my life. If we're going to talk about Dead Space, we have to bring up the, the elephant in the room, Dead Space 3. I'm not that fat. <laughs> Not good. Uh, 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 Dead Space 3 is pretty poopoo dookie. Yeah, that was a terrible I, game. I don't I, even know I, if there was I, actually I, a villain. I kind of had some fun. Can't You're a fanboy. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, even if it's wrong. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing with you. If you say says the WoW fan, there's two of us in here and I'll eat you. <laughs> Hi. What? <laughs> wow. 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 Every time. Why do you have to do that every time? It's a good game. Anyway. Wow. Um... I guess I'll bring up uh, Shido from Persona 5. Ew! Wow! Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Who's voiced by Shido? I don't actually know who the voice wow, actor is. Wow, some fan. Um, How do you not know that? He's a great villain. Um, he basically manipulates everything. 
is after he, the second okay, boss. Okay, I have a question. Is he the gym coach? No, that's Kamashita. Yes, that means that means suffering. That means so much he, to me. There are because there are yes, eight, seven. There are seven um, main palaces that are based off the seven deadly sins. And he is the last one, and I'm pretty sure he is Envy. But what's no, his name? No, he's either, I think he's Pride. What's his name? Shido. Can you spell that to me? S-H-I-D-O. Darn it. Well, if we're going to bring up Japanese games, Yakuza Doku Doku. Zero. I Literature started Club. it. You haven't beaten Yakuza Zero? I played it for about an hour. It is literally the best Yakuza ever. You can Hands down. I'm capping. <laughs> I'm capping. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> but, uh, oh, gosh. Uh, what's his name? Big boy. He's Jim. a big boy. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Steven? Jimothy. The big boy. <laughs> Jimothy. <laughs> Uh, but uh, that guy, he was really, he's a boxer. I can't remember his name. I haven't played Yakuza Zero in forever. But, it's uh, the best Yakuza. I don't know what the heck they do, but they're there. Bro, they're, they're it, there. All their names are in Japanese. You think I can remember a lick of Japanese? The whole, no, the, game, that. the whole game is in Japanese. It is. The whole damn game is in Japanese. Whole gosh darn game. Excuse you. Racist. Oh, excuse me. Are you talking about... Shinko no Shinbo. No, no, Shinji... Genji? No. Shinji? Genji? Show me a picture of him. Benji? Wait, no, Shinji? Benji? Shinji's a homie. Yes, Jason. How'd you he has a that? he has a purple, yeah, Jason. purple purple shirt. What a homie. He's got a purple shirt. I trust him. <laughs> what a homie. How do you not know this, Jason? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that boxer guy. That boxer guy in Yakuza Zero. Are you talking Genji? about Daisaku? You just you just looked up characters, didn't you? i That's all he does. I mean, he gets lost. And he's like Yakuza what are we Zero about? boss. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, but I guess uh, we're getting near the end here. Uh, any other bosses you guys want to bring up? Oh, I mean, there's so many that I love, but I, uh, at, with risk of time, we can do this again another time. Bring up more. Part part two, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, one of my most hated bosses in all of gaming is Chaos in the Skylanders games. Okay. Don't look at me like that. I loved him as a kid, and my brother still loves him, and we still I still play him every now and then with him, so... Yeah. I, I, okay, honestly, I thought Skylanders was an amazing rendition of the Toy to Life genre. I'm sad it's dying out, but at the same time, I get why it is. You know? What? I just... I didn't buy toys as a kid, so... Okay. We didn't have <laughs> toys as children! We lived in the Carolinas, so all we had was sticks. <laughs> I mean, cousins. <laughs> I'd shoot. Oh. We had sticks. Oh. <laughs> to play with. We had, we had we had sticks, and we went outside. We we shot zombies. That's what we did. Yeah, but like the toys to life genre was always interesting to me because I I like collecting things. Okay, I mean, Amiibo man, looking man. You mean my Funkos? Is that what you were trying to reference? No. Oh, okay. I know what Funkos are. Do you know what Amiibos are? Yeah, I know. Yes, I know what amiibos are. I'm sitting here talking about Do I like toys the light. <laughs> the little things you put on. Anyway, I just I like collecting oh, like things and I like having something uh, to look at. So I liked the toy to life genre. Um, it became way too cluttered way too quickly though, and I understand why they got rid of it. There are a few bosses I'm looking forward to seeing that I've heard really good things about, like the final boss in. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I've heard it's really, really good. Yeah. Um, I really, in, really enjoyed Sephiroth in the Final Fantasy VII remake. Um, you don't see him too much, but I actually, I, I'm really excited for the part two to come out um, and play through that, where Sephiroth is more prominent. Benny in Fallout New Vegas. You mean the man who shoots you in the head? I have never done a playthrough without killing him. I think he is... I think he is not a great villain, but oh man, is he a great motivator. Exactly. Oh my goodness. He's just like, the first thing you you open Fallout New Vegas, you start a new character. From where I'm standing, or from where you're standing, 
Must look like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Bam! Bam! You wake up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> it's like, I've never done. A, I've never done a playthrough without killing him. Never once. I don't. I don't. I mean, I walk in and he's like, I hope we can put this all behind us. Man shoots you in cold blood and you live, dang it. you have a chip. A chip. Like a potato? Couldn't just ask for it. Hey, could you hand that to me? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, no, I'll kill you. Uh, there you go. I'm literally a mail carrier. Here you go. Literally, even in post apocalyptia you do not mess with the man that delivers your mail. <laughs> what about the man that delivers your meals? Grub up. That's what I did all day today. No, no. Rough. All day today? No, you know did you I'm wake not? up at noon? No, I woke up at like 10. 11.45. I woke up at noon. No, I'm talking about what just happened. some stuff and then I delivered the foods. Have you guys talked about Dark Tide yet? No. Oh. Kind of. Talked about like anticipating it. I'm excited for it. Oh, I'm so it. excited for it. The trailers look amazing. Yeah. First one was definitely better than the second one. I really hope they don't go for You're the talking action. talking Warhammer Tide now? Like, no, no, Dark Tide. Dark Tide? Like, Warhammer Dark Tide. Yeah, the one that's coming out. Yeah, they've never been a Dark Tide. They've all been Vermin Tide. Yes, Dark Tide is 40k. Yes. Yes. That's what I... Well, yeah, I don't even know. When you said first one, are you talking trailer first? Yes, one? the first. Okay, trailer, I thought you yes. meant like Vermintide, the first Vermintide. So I said, I said trailer, and then I said Vermintide like, no, two was better than Vermintide. Yeah, you guys were talking about the exact same thing, and I was very yeah. confused why you weren't on the same page. No, because well, he said he's like first one better than the second, and I'm like Vermintide first, second, no. But now I, I, I get yes, the first trailer, first trailer, I, it seemed like it was going on the more like horror side, yeah, like comedy horror a little bit. Mm -hmm. Second one was all action. I was like, ah, don't do this. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see what they do with it. So, because I was really hoping it'd be like a bunch of no names, like no name, like guardsmen instead of like proper characters. You know what my favorite story in all the in the entire forty k universe is. All right, so you we're both, tank, we're I, tank, I, we're tank, yes, tank. so you are you both know where this is going. You might, but it's a bunch of there's a bunch of guardsmen and they're defending a point because Bang. guardsmen mm -hmm. and they're running low on ammo and it's, it's the green tide, so it's just it's never it's ending. Just they just keep all coming, arcs, yeah. And they run out of ammo, and they're like, well, this is it. We're done. But the sergeant's like, hold on a dang second. And he points his gun at the orc, and he says, BANG! And the orc falls down dead. Ah, because they remember. believe that they have ammo, and they just bang, 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 bang. And this keeps going on for a while. And all of a sudden, over the ridge, there's six we're orcs, and they're very, they're packed. Shut up, you ruin it. They're packed in, and they're just, they're coming forward, and they hear chanting. And as they get closer, they're not dying. And then they hear... I'm a tank, 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 I'm a tank. <laughs> and I don't believe it either, but it has to be true because it's hilarious. I just look, bang! Dead. Because they believe they have ammo. Well, because orcs are the most powerful psychers <laughs> in the entire If universe. they realized it, everyone's dead. <laughs> yes. If they ever realized what they could do, everyone's dead. They're yeah. like, man. You know how they nerf them? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, that's how it works. Making them dumb is what I said. For those They're the have. most broken Dang. army to play in that game Dang. because it's all luck. Yeah, it's all luck. Anyway, but I, I had anyone else have anything else on the topic? Am I wrong? Um, no, I think that's to not hold the good people of the internet here for longer than apparently two minutes, according to Jason's friend. You're not loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even support him by giving him some view time so he could make some money. Uh, you captain. But uh, I, th I think one uh, podcast there. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, make sure you tune in to our Twitch channels uh, to watch us be bad at Apex. Drop yours too, Sal. Drop it. Uh, tune in to mine, twitch.tv forward slash probably a toilet. I'm actually currently doing an evil within <laughs> playthrough. I'm actually a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop it in the description. And please. eventually yeah. oh, I God. will... Uh, Eventually, I'm going to be turning that into an Akuma run, trying to beat that on the hardest difficulty. So, fun stuff. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you follow him and subscribe. And yeah, if you give guys, us watch time, please just let yes. it just let this run on repeat on like twelve different. <laughs> um, but make sure you guys subscribe for more weekly geek content, and we will see y'all next time. Bye, Brody. Bye, Brody. Bye, Brody. Bye, Brody. Bye, Brody.